So this will be the second uh, lesson video on the shaded region problems. We've done 16.5 now, and we're just going to focus on those problems uh, since we've already done, uh, like, for example, 1 and 2 and 4 here. So let's take a look at 3. Um, all right, so what we have here, as you can see, is 60 degree central angle radius of six. So go ahead and give this a shot. Again, think about how you would set this up. What's your game plan first? And then just write the formulas in and then go from there. Okay, so game plan here obviously is the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. That would give us this segment, as we call it, in here. Um, okay, so what would the area of the sector here be? If I know the radius and I know the angle uh, central angle measure, which obviously means that I know that the arc measure is 60 as well. It would be Q over 360 times pi r squared. And then we want to subtract off the triangle. We know it's an equilateral triangle. Why? Because it's a 60 degree angle. Um, this radius would also be 6, which means this angle and this angle by if sides and angles are congruent. And obviously that would mean they're all 60 degree angles. So we just plug in 6 for S, plug in 6 for R, plug in 60 for Q, and hopefully you ended up getting 6 pi minus 9 root 3. Okay, awesome. So let's move forward. And we've done 5, we've done 6, we've done actually all of them on this page. Awesome. And we'll start with number 1 on the shaded regions problems handout. Okay. So we have to find there, again, remember if it looks like a regular polygon, then it is. Okay, so we have tangent segments from E to P, okay, so circle P, and obviously if that one's length 12, then what is the length of that one? All right, we'll go ahead and figure this out. Notice we have an arc right here, a minor arc of 120. Think about what we know about this angle and, and going from there. Okay, so give it a shot. All right, so my game plan was to do the area of two triangles minus the area of the sector. What are the two triangles that I'm talking about? Well, I'm talking about the triangle that would be formed. In fact, I'll just go ahead and draw it in. Let's see. Let's go ahead and use this. I'm talking about, it's a little thick, but that's okay. These two triangles, right? The ones that go to point of tangency, and this probably should have been shifted a little bit more like that, right? Okay, uh, you get the picture though. So we're talking about this triangle and this triangle. And those obviously are gonna be congruent. Um, so how would we go about doing that? Well, we know one half base times height would be the area formula for the area of one of the triangles. We have two of them, so we're gonna multiply it by two. And the area of the sector would be Q over 360 times pi r squared. So then the question becomes, all right, well, how do we figure out what Q is in this case? And how do we figure out what r is? Well. Don't we know that we have a side length of 12 here? We know that the measure of this angle, this entire angle here, right? If this is an arc of 120, then out here, this would be an arc of what? 240, subtract those, right? And we get 120. So, right, 240 minus 120 is 120. And we know that, therefore, that we got a right angle here. And we're going to have an angle of 60 here. These would be 30, right? Because this is going to be half of the difference between those two. Okay. So, in other words, in this triangle right here, we have a, a length of 12. Is that the hypotenuse? No. The hypotenuse is actually this length right here, right? But we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let me go ahead and write those in. So we have a 30 degree angle right here. And we 
and our 60 is right here. Put that there. So hard work doing this with the keyboard. Um, so if the side length here is 12, and this is opposite the 60, how do we get what's opposite the 30? Yeah. So that is what becomes 4 root 3. So the side length is 4 root 3. And um, our base of our triangle is 12. So we plug in 12 for base. Our height is 4 root 3. That's right there. And we know that this is 1 third the other circle. So 120 over 360 reduces to 1 third. And then we'd square this one here, do the math here, and we get 48 root 3 minus 16 pi. So hopefully you got that. All right. Let's do the next one. Okay. We've already done number two, so let's go to number three here. So we have the diameter of a circle P is 24. Okay. So think about what you can use it with that diameter being 24 and give it a shot. Okay, so what I did was I said that this was two, the area of two sectors plus the area of two triangles. So what, what did I do in order to get that to where it is? Well, I set up, I'm gonna make this thinner, let's go with this. Um, what did I do? I put in one diameter. I put in another diameter. And then you can hopefully see that I have the area of these two triangles plus the area of these two sectors. Okay. And we obviously know that the areas of these are the same, right? Because they're vertical angles and these are radii. And if I know that um, the diameter is 24, then don't I also know that the radii are 12? Okay, so going from that, my formulas would be Q over 360 times pi r squared, and I've got two of them, and two times 1 half base times height. So I know here that this distance is 6, so that's obviously the height of my triangle. And we basically just need to get this distance here at the base. Okay. So um, we know that we've got a 60 degree angle here. How do we how do we get that? Um, well, if I have a side length here of 12, right? That's our hypotenuse, and I've got a leg that's half of that, don't we know that this is going to be a 30, 60, 90 triangle? Yeah, we sure do. So we know that this is 6 root 3. I know I've got a right angle right here. And if this is 6, then this is 30 degrees down here, right? Which means that this is 60 degrees. And I know if this is 60 degrees, this is 60 degrees, which means that this is 60 degrees. There's other ways to get to that too. So anyway, um, so we know that the central angle here is 60 degrees, which means that this arc is 60 degrees. So I plug in 60 for Q. R, we know, is 12, right? Half of the diameter. And over here, if I know that this is the side opposite the 30 degree angle is 6, and this is 6 root 3, 6 root 3 and another 6 root 3 will get us 12 root 3. So 1 half, 12 root 3 for our base and six for our height, and again, we've got two of the triangles. And when you do the math on all that, you get 48 pi plus 72 root three. Okay, moving on to our last page. We've got two of them on here. So take a look at this one. Think about what you might set up for your game plan. You have a diameter of 12, and I don't know if you can see that real well. Hopefully you can. That's a 30-degree angle right there. So think about what you could do. All right, give it a shot. Okay, so the way I set it up was area of a triangle plus the area of a sector. Now, what triangle did I set up? Hmm. Anybody have an idea of what I may have done here? 
I um, went and put in, I think that's our center right there. Let's call that the center. Um, I did that. So I have a triangle and I have a sector. Okay. So 1 half base times height, q over 360 times pi r squared. And I can basically go from there. I know the diameter is 12, right? So I know that this is 6. I know that's 6. I know that's 6. Um, and if that's a 30 degree angle, that's a 30 degree angle, right? So that means that's 120, which means this is 60. So plugging in, I know I've got a 60 degree angle there. How did I get the 6 root 3 and the 3? Well, if I put in and dropped an altitude here, right, we know it's going to be a perpendicular bisector. So let me go ahead and do that as best I can. So that's pretty good. Um, I've got a right, let's see if I can make that angle right there. And obviously I'm going to have a 60 degree angle right here. If, um, if the hypotenuse here is six, then I know the side opposite 30 is going to be three. So that's my height of three. This is going to be three root three. So the entire base would be six root three. And when you do all the math, do the multiplication, hopefully you ended up with nine root three from this and six pi from all of this. Okay, last one. Looks like we got a football. Oh, look at the letters here, yard. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. The yard uh, has a yard square, so it's a square here. Has a side length of four, and um, the center of arcs are A and D. So think about it. For this arc here, that would A would be basically the center of the circle if I extended this one around here, and same for D with this arc right here. So think about what you might do to set this up, knowing that a side is four and that this is a square. Okay, well, the way I did it was, I basically just said it was two segments. So I drew in diagonal here and in drawing in this diagonal, hopefully you can see that the area of this half of the shaded region would be the area of this sector minus the area of this triangle. And then for this half of the shaded region, it would basically be the same thing, just the other way. It would be the area of this sector minus the area of this triangle, okay? And I think there are other ways that you could do this as well, by the way. But this is how I did it. So, um, okay. So I would have two, right, because two segments. Q over 360 times pi r squared. That would be the area of one of the sectors minus the area of the triangle. And remember, I know that this is 4, this is 4. We know then, obviously, this is what? 4 root 2. Good. Um, and so we can go from there. So we know, obviously, with it being a square, this is 90, right? So this, the measure of this arc is 90. And we know that the radius is 4. And then the area of each of the triangles here would be 1 half. Remember, the right angle is right here. So it's base times height are both 4. So you would figure out, again, you multiply 2 last, right? So you go... 4 squared is 16. This is going to reduce to 1 fourth. So this becomes 4 pi. And then minus half of 4 times 4 is, is 8. So we end up getting 8 pi minus 16 because we would have had 8 and we had 4 pi. And then we multiply and distribute the 2 to both of them. OK, well, I think that covers it. Um, love shaded region problems. A lot of fun. Um, sometimes crazy to look at at first, but, but then we get them. 
Anyway, I uh, look forward to going over any questions you have on these uh, next time.